Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. For today's video, our topic is all about operations on functions. Okay, so first, define muna natin ano ba yung mga operations na gagamitin natin sa video ito. So, let f and g be functions. Okay? So, their sum is denoted by f plus g. It is the function defined by f plus g of x which is equals to f of x plus g of x. Okay? Then, for their difference naman, denoted by f minus g, ito yung subtraction, it is, it is the function defined by f minus g of x, which is also the same as f of x minus g of x. Okay? Then, for multiplication, it is the function defined by f times g of x, which is also the same as f of x times g of x. Okay, then last, for division, it is the function defined by f over g of x, which is also the same as f of x over g of x. Okay, so ito yung apat na operations na gagamitin natin sa video ito. So, let's have our first example. Use the following functions below. First, we have f of x, which is equals to x plus 3. Then, p of x, which is equals to 2x minus 7. Then, v of x, which is equals to x squared plus 5x plus 4. g of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 8. Then, for h of x, we have x plus 7 over 2 minus x. Then, last, yung t of x, which is equals to x minus 2 all over x plus 3. Then, we are asked to determine the following functions. First, okay, determine the v plus g of x. Okay, so try natin to guys. So, applying the definition ng ating um, addition on functions, Yung v plus g of x daw natin, is parehas lang yan guys, ni v of x plus g of x. Tama? According doon sa ating definition kanina. So dito, after natin makita na kailangan natin si v of x and g of x doon sa ating given, substitute natin yan guys. Okay? So ang v of x natin is equals to x squared plus 5x plus 4. Then, g of x natin, substitute natin dito sa ating equation, which is x squared plus 2x minus 8. Tama? So, after natin masubstitute yan, guys, pwede na tayong mag-add ngayon ng functions. So, tandaan, in adding, fu in adding um, functions or polynomials, make sure na ang i-combine nyo is yung mga like terms. Okay, so execute natin. Dito, we have x square plus x square. That is 2x square. Then, we have 5x plus 2x. That is 7x. Then, 4 plus negative 8. That is negative 4. Tama? So, therefore, yung ating v plus g is equals to 2x square plus 7x minus 4. Ito na ngayon guys yung ating final answer. Okay? So, let's proceed to letter B. We have F times P of X. Okay? So, based dun sa ating um, definition, in multiplication of functions guys, ang F times P of X is parehas lang ni F of X times P of X. Tama? So, ibig sabihin, para makuha natin yung product ni f times p, kailangan natin si f of x, which is x plus 3, and si p of x, which is 2x minus 7. So, substitute natin. Ang f of x natin, x plus 3, times p of x, which is 2x minus 7. Okay, so as you can see guys, uh, meron tayong two binomials. So, ibig sabihin, ang i-apply natin is si FOIL method. Tama? So, first term, 
x times 2x, that is 2x squared. Then outer, x times negative 7, that is negative 7x. Then sa inner naman, we have 3 times 2x, that is 6x. Then last term, 3 times negative 7, that is negative 21. Tama? So after natin ma-apply si FOIL method, ko-combine natin yung like terms. So meron tayong like terms dito, we have negative 7x and positive 6x. Okay, so pag kinombine natin yan guys, so ang final answer natin, we have 2x square, then negative 7x plus 6x, that is negative x minus 21. So ito na ngayon guys, yung ating f times p. Tama? Or yung ating f times p of x. Okay? So next, let's proceed to letter C. We have F plus H of X. Okay? So based dun sa ating definition, si F plus H of X daw is same lang guys ni F of X plus H of X. Tama? So substitute natin. Ano ba yung ating F of X? We have X plus 3. So, we have x plus 3 plus h of x. So, based dun sa ating given, ang h of x natin is equals to x plus 7 over 2 minus x. Okay, so as you can see guys, uh, meron tayong polynomial and um, fraction. Tama? So, meron tayong rational function dito. So, pagka ganyan guys, pagka i-co-combine natin yan dito sa ating binomial sa kabila. Okay, so make sure na gagamit tayo ng LCD. Tama? So, yung x plus 3 natin, understood yan na mayroong over 1. So, pag mag-add tayo ng dalawang fractions na, na mayroong uh, magkaibang denominator, make sure na gagamit kayo ng LCD. Okay? So, meron tayong 1, tapos 2 minus x. So, therefore, ang LCD natin is 2 minus x. Tama? So, applying the uh, addition of fractions. So, LCD, i-divide natin yan dito guys kay 1. So, 2 minus x divided by 1, that is 2 minus x. Then, i-multiply natin si 2 minus x doon sa ating numerator, which is x plus 3. Tama? Then, i-add natin ngayon guys. So, plus LCD, divide natin dito kay 2 minus x. So, 2 minus x divided by 2 minus x, that is 1. Then, multiply natin dun sa numerator which is x plus 7. Tama guys? So, simplify natin yung ating numerator. So, una, Dito sa may 2 minus x times x plus 3, gagamit tayo dyan ng FOIL method. Okay, so execute natin. 2 times x, that is 2x. Then outer, 2 times 3, that is positive 6. For inner naman, negative x times x, that is um, negative x square. Then for last, negative x times 3, we have negative 3x. Tama? Then sa may kabila naman, distribute lang natin si 1 times x plus 7, that is x plus 7, all over 2 minus x. Tama? So ngayon, para masimplify natin yung numerator guys, kukombine lang natin yung ating mga similar terms. Okay? So una, meron tayong negative x square. Next, 2x minus 3x. That's negative x plus x, so makakancel silang tatlo. Tama? Kasi 2x minus 3x plus x, that is 0. Then last, we have 6 plus 7, which is equals to 13, all over 2 minus x. Okay, so this time, ito na ngayon guys, yung ating magiging final answer. Ito yung ating f plus h. Nakuha ba guys? Okay, so next, let's proceed to letter D. 
So we have P minus F of X. So based dun sa ating definition, si P minus F of X is parehas lang yan guys ni P of X minus F of X. Tama? So, pwede natin i-substitute si P of X, which is 2X minus 7 dito sa ating equation. That is 2X minus 7 minus F of X, which is X plus 3. Tama guys? So, paano ba ulit tayong mag-minus ng polynomials? So, pwede natin i-distribute yung negative para hindi tayo malito. Okay? So, we have 2X minus 7. Then neg negative times x, that's negative x. Then negative times 3, we have negative 3. Tama? So after natin ma-distribute yung ating negative, is co-combine na natin yung like terms. So dito we have 2x minus x, that is x. Then negative 7 minus 3, that is negative 10. Tama guys? So ito na ngayon yung ating p minus f. Nakuha ba? So last, let's proceed to letter E. We have V over G of X. Okay, so based dun sa ating definition, si V over G of X is parehas lang guys ni V of X over G of X. Tama? So dun sa ating given, yung ating V of X is equals to X square plus 5x plus 4 over g of x which is equals to x square plus 2x minus 8. Okay, so para makapag-divide tayo ng functions guys, kung makapansin nyo meron tayong rational function dito, is kailangan uh, ma-factor out natin yung numerator and denominator. Okay, fa-factor natin. So, meron tayo dito mga trinomials, di ba? So, ano ba yung equivalent ni x square plus 5x plus 4 pag finactor natin? Okay, so since x square yung ating first term, ibig sabihin we have x and x. Tama? Then, factor natin si 4. So, pag nag-isip kayo ng factor ni 4, pag kinumbine natin yon dapat maging 5. Tama? Ano ba yung mga factor ni 4? Pwedeng 2 times 2 or 4 times 1. So, dito, ang gagamitin natin is si 4 and 1 since kailangan natin maging 5 sila pag kinombine. Tama? So, meron tayong x plus 4 and x plus 1. All over. Factor natin yung denominator. So, since ang first term natin is x square, so, ibig sabihin meron tayong x and x. Then, factor natin si negative 8. So, mag-iisip tayo ng factor ni negative 8 pag kinombine natin is positive 2. Okay? So, pwede natin gamitin dito si positive 4 times negative 2. Tama? Kasi yung 4 times negative 2, that is negative 8. Then, 4 plus negative 2, meron tayong positive 2. Tama guys? So, meron tayong x plus 4 and x minus 2. So, as you can see guys, common si x plus 4 doon sa ating numerator and denominator. Ibig sabihin, pwede silang makancel out. So, ngayon, yung ating final answer, we have x plus 1 over x minus 2. Ito na ngayon guys, yung ating v of g of x. Naintindihan ba guys kung paano mag-divide ng functions? So, this is the end of our video. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!